was that the training, I'm calling it the training fund, it's here described as a council. Um, the council has not been, this is in the top, the first dot point under subheading, uh, sorry, under subparagraph little a, a council has not been formally established as a separate entity as uh, distinct from the TWU. Rather, the fund is currently administered within the TWU financial management framework. See that? Yes, I do. And one of the key recommendations, in effect, was that the, uh, as they call it, the council or the training fund should be separated from the TWU. Correct? Yes. And if you come down the page, there are also some findings in respect of fund expenditure. Yes. And I'll draw your attention in particular to the third dot point in subparagraph B, which noted that there was no documentation in place defining attributes of expenditure to facilitate its classification between general TWU expenditure and fund expenditure. And the finding goes on, as a result, determining the rationale for decision making for such expenditure is difficult to obtain. See that? Yes. And then, can we come to the heading recommendations? It's on page 46. Um, the Deloitte report observed in paragraph 1.4 that recommendations had been made and said, our recommendation has been accepted by the management of TWU and we understand steps are in place for its implementation. See that? Yes. And th the report was publicly released at the time by the TWU? Yes. And in fact, um, very little happened, I suggest to you, until October 2009 when questions were again raised in the media. Is that fair? There was questions raised in the media, yes. Well, remember yesterday I took you to some a newspaper article that seemed to be in The Age and the Sydney Morning Herald that went into, again, raised questions about the training fund? Yes. And that was in October 2009? Yes. So, um, uh, some two years had passed since the matter was first raised in the Sunday show? Mr Stage, I'd done my best to, to that to, for those recommendations to be taken up upon taking office on the 3rd of March 2009. All right. So, so I can't uh, speak about what happened prior to 2009. Yes, fair point. You, you were only State Secretary from March 2009, but um, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just trying to work out what the history of events was, that's all. I'm not trying to say who was doing what, but um, all I, my only point is this. We then reach October 2009, and at that point, um, for whatever reason, not very much had happened, and you and others, including in the National Union, were trying fairly quickly to appoint some independent directors and otherwise set up, get Ticho set up and up and running. I wouldn't characterise that as being as a result of the, of the media reports. It was just a coincidence, was it? Well, obviously, obviously so. Right. So I do have, I remember having various discussions about how to get that fixed up. Okay, and then, and then. Um, uh, Teach Show was finally up and running in about the end of 2010. Yes. All right. So, <clears throat> but the training fund, 